Hey guys, Tristan here from the CPAPstore.ca. Uh, really quick video today. I was in the store the last couple days talking to customers and the same thing came up about the AirSense 11. Um, people are noticing that they are feeling claustrophobic between getting an, or when they got an AirSense 11 versus their old AirSense 10. Now, this is a very common problem, but it's not an AirSense 11 issue. It's more of a, they probably switched a little bit of their settings issue. Um, and they didn't realize it. Today we're gonna to be talking about, specifically, what causes you to feel claustrophobic. The other um, word that is described is people feel like they're suffocating, they feel like they're not getting enough air, they feel like they, um, what one client said, they feel like they have to take a big deep breath in order to reset the breathing patterns on the machine, like they're not getting enough air and stuff like that. So if you are having those symptoms, uh, this is the video for you. The simple answer is your pressure or your minimum pressure or your ramp pressure, whatever pressure at that moment is, is too low, okay? Your pressure is too low and that is causing the discomfort. Now let's get into a little more detail. If I were to put on this CPAP mask or if I were to put on this CPAP mask, let's just put it on right now and see how long I last, right? With no air. So I have it on, no air. I feel like I'm breathing through a snorkel, right? I feel like I'm breathing through a snorkel. I, I feel claustrophobic. I feel like I can't take a deep breath. Why? Because there is no air pressure. Because there is no air pressure, the mask is actually making it, obviously, a lot harder to breathe. The same thing goes when your mask is connected to your CPAP machine. If your CPAP machine is at too low of a pressure, you're simply not getting enough air to compensate for the fact that you're wearing a mask in the first place. That is one of the reasons why your CPAP machine starts at level four and not zero. Notice how it goes from four to 20 because having a pressure below four would be really uncomfortable and it would feel like you can't get a deep breath and you feel like you're suffocating, okay? And so what is happening for those people who are going from a 10 to 11 or people experiencing this issue is often they have their ramp on. Most people, for example, if your pressure is a 10 to a 15, maybe you wanna have ramp at six, right? And then when you're going to bed, it doesn't feel like as much pressure. You fall asleep, then it goes to your prescribed pressure, a little more comfortable. But the flip side is also true. If your ramp is too low, for example, uh, your pressure is 10 to 15 and you want to be as comfortable as possible. So you put your ramp at starting at four. Four for you might not be enough pressure to overcome the fact that you're wearing a mask and therefore it is still not enough pressure for you to take a deep breath. So many times in CPAP therapy, the goal is to reduce pressure. You're going to hear me say it. You're going to hear your doctor say it. You know, your doctor might say, if you lose 50 pounds, you might be able to reduce your pressure and reducing the pressure is gonna make things a little more comfortable. This is true. But a lot of people take that too seriously and they always think that low pressure, for example, four, is the most comfortable pressure ever because it's the lowest pressure. So if you're feeling claustrophobic or you're feeling like you can't take a deep breath, perhaps your minimum pressure is too low during your CPAP therapy or your ramp pressure is starting too low. So what do I recommend? Well, typically most men weighing from, like I would say 150 pounds plus, should never really go below six. Six is typically the most comfortable pressure to be lowest as possible while still overcoming the air restrictions that a mask has in the first place. For women being typically a little bit smaller, you're looking at around four to six. Now this is based on your body size, weight, lung shape, uh, throat shape, et cetera, et cetera. But generally men, you know, a low pressure that's comfortable is around six to seven. And then for women, you know, five to six, okay? And that's the reason why when you start CPAP therapy, usually your doctor will prescribe you a prescribed pressure of six to 15, because 15 is usually high enough where it's gonna, you know, control most apneas and six being low enough without being too low so you can still get air. So to change the pressure in your machine, I'll show you quickly here again in the clinical settings. Let's zoom this up a bit. Okay, so to get to the clinical menu, you just click two of these. It's gonna ask you if you wanna go to the clinical menu, you're gonna say, okay. If this goes dim, it's because I covered the light sensor at the top of the machine here. So 
it'll go dim. So if I remove my hand, it'll go back to normal. Okay, and you go to settings, and then here we have the pressure. So for example, say you recently changed your pressure, your doctor changed your pressure, you feel like you just can't get the breath in. Well, here we have your minimum pressure, so six to 15, okay? So that's a, a very average pressure. Say your doctor changed it to that, um, to try something new and you can't get your breath, yeah, you just change it back up to seven to 15 or whatever you were before, et cetera, et cetera. So that's where you can change your pressure settings. And then for your ramp, if you want to turn off ramp, you can just turn it off like that. And now when you start your device, it'll start at a level seven, okay? Um, and then if you want a little more ramp, so it's a little less pressure when you first start, maybe change it to like auto is usually a pretty good one. It'll sense when you st start going to sleep, but you have your starting pressure maybe at a six for yourself or maybe at a five, but four is probably too low. And so... A lot of people were going from the AirSense 10 to an AirSense 11 because they're upgrading and they change their prescribed pressure here, but they forget to change their ramp pressure and out of the box it comes out at four and then they can't get the deep breath, right? So you want to make sure you're changing both your ramp start pressure to whatever feels comfortable for you and your prescribed pressure. Last thing is EPR. This is your expiratory pressure relief. So it comes in three settings, one, two, and three. This decreases the amount of pressure that you have when you exhale. So for example, if your EPR is a level two, then on your inhale, because we have a prescribed pressure starting at seven, for example, say in this given moment, you're at a seven. On your inhale, you're gonna have a seven pressure and your exhale, you're gonna have a five because seven minus two equals five. So those are really the three things you can change in regards to your pressure for CPAP therapy. Um, your pressure range, uh, your EPR, and your ramp or starting pressure. So you can fiddle around with those a little bit um, and see if that makes a little bit of a difference for you. Okay, so to conclude, if you're using CPAP therapy and you've noticed that you feel like you're not getting enough air, it's hard to inhale, chances are your minimum pressure is too low or your starting pressure during your ramp phase is too low and you should kick that up a little bit to at least maybe a level six or seven.